All right, so my dad's gonna be say, uh, saying some dream fights he wish he could have seen. Um, let's let's hear it. Boxing or mixed martial arts? It doesn't matter. I gotta keep my eye on this bitch over here. Hey. I'll hey. keep an eye on her. Just, t just talk. Um, probably have to go boxing first. Um, I think one of my other dream fights I never talked about last week, and <clears throat> this is my I think my buddy John one of John Venus uh, dream fights too is probably uh, Roy Jones Jr. against marvelous Marvin Hagler. I think that would have been a hell of a fight. I know it's tough, it's amazingly tough as Marvin Hagler was and what a concrete chin he had and how just how fucking brutal he was. I think the hand speed of Jones um, will, will win him that fight uh, decision. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he can knock Hagler out, but I think he would uh, just outbox him in you know, 12 or whatever, 15 rounds. Um, I don't think he, I don't think he, if Jones was smart enough, he wouldn't stand in front of Hagler to give him a chance to do any real damage. So that's another one of my dream fights. Probably the same thing with um, Roy Jones and Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, uh, probably the same, same, same results in that one. All right, give me some uh, MMA fights. Oh, there's too many to, too many to think of. Um, uh, maybe... Frank Mir and for Doom, I don't. I don't think they ever fought. Anymore. I could have sworn they did. I don't remember. I don't, I don't. I don't think so. Just, just you know, straight up grappling, just get each other on the ground and see who can do who to what. Uh, I don't think they ever fought. Like I said before, Ngano and Lesnar. I think that would be pretty interesting to see. Uh, Adesanya MVP after last week. <laughs> Yeah, out of sign, he looks untouchable. He's fucking unbelievable. Yeah, I made my predictions on point. Everyone knows that on Facebook. Yeah, but I think <laughs> I think also Costa fought the wrong fight. I mean, he was he had like a year off. So not to make excuses for the guy, but you know, I don't think that helped him. Well, he said he had a you know messed up, I guess shoulder or something like that. I don't remember, but you can't make excuses. You know, if you're gonna fight, you said you, he was coming for uh, Adesanya, and then I said no, Costa Adesanya's coming for you. And then yeah. look what happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like could have been a better fight. I mean, if you, if you if you stand there looking to get picked apart with leg kicks, I don't give a fuck who you are. You, you you're gonna you're not gonna be able to walk after about ten minutes. You know you know what I mean? And the next day is even worse. You have any more? Or do you want me to end it right here? Uh, I don't know. My God, there's there's so many there's so many fights that I would love to have seen. Uh, Tyson and Foreman, and I'm talking about. I think that the Foreman who came back in the 80s and early 90s was much, a much better, much tougher George Foreman than, than, the, than the brutal one back in the 70s because he was more methodical, he was more patient, uh, he took his time in the ring. Um, so I, th I think the older version of Foreman would have beaten any version of Tyson. What, what Tyson? Mike Tyson or Tyson Fury? Mike, Mike Tyson. Okay. Mike Tyson. And I love Mike Tyson. I'm a, I'm a huge I mean, I got a tattoo of the guy on my shoulder, I mean, of the MT symbol, but... You know, it's, sometimes you have these guys who just are fucking Mike Tyson. They love Mike Tyson. They don't think that nobody ever could have beat a prime Mike Tyson. That's not true. Because Mike Tyson was in his prime when he fought, you know, Tony Tucker. And he went the distance with Tucker. I mean, if, if other guys can do that, you know, he was pretty much in his prime when he fought uh, Douglas, Russell Douglas. And that was a good fight. You, you don't take a, a certain guy seriously whether you're in your prime or not. It's, it doesn't mean it make a fucking difference. You're going to lose. You know, if you're not focused enough. And I, I do believe uh, Douglas was given a long count. I do believe he was saved by the bell in that fight. And I do think Tyson was, uh, his count was kind of rushed, but, or not rushed, but Douglas's count was extra long. I, I, do, I do admit that, but it's the referee who's in charge, so there's nothing you can do about it. You all set? Uh... Yeah, I guess. I mean, there's, there's a lot. Do you think of anything you want to say? Um, I was gonna say already. I was gonna say Frank Mir and Nogueira, but they already fought. Um, that nasty. Yeah, what he broke. He broke uh, arm. That was insane. Yeah, no, Mir, Mir, he likes to break bones when he's when he's like, look, he did the same thing with Tim Sylvia. You know, he broke his uh, his uh, his his forearm <laughs> in a couple of different places. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of great fights out there. Hey. Well, everybody knows my dream fight is obviously Tyson and uh, Tua. That's my go-to. That's, one of mine. That's definitely yeah. my go-to fight right there. I wish could have happened. The '90s, especially the yeah. '90s. Two, I go with Tua though. <laughs> I go, I go. Uh, I don't know, dude. In the '80s, mid '80s, Tyson, late. 
you know, mid nineties. Uh, I think his timing was a little off. I think two two wins, but I think they're both capable of just fucking laying each other out. Yeah, they got the I, speed. I think Tua had a little bit better of a chin, and he's 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 just like his center of gravity, his legs. I mean, the guy had no neck. He was just a destructive left hook. I think David Tua's left hook is is much better than than Tyson's. So I guess that's it. I would have said um, I was thinking like Tyson Fury and like. You know Lennox, but that would have been wraps. Lennox, that would that would have been Lennox over. Wipe the floor with Tyson Fury. I can promise you that. Um, maybe a fight with with Riddick Bow. Riddick, Riddick Bow tended to get lazy in his in his career. What the hell did she do? Hey, um, Riddick Bow was such an amazing fighter. He he was great on the end. Had, had a hell of you know tons of skills. Um, but he but he he lacked discipline outside of the ring and that. Cost him against Galata. I think he could have he could have beaten Galata. But I also think it proves how much more of a better heavyweight that Lennox Lewis was than Riddick Bowe because when Lennox fought Galata, I mean, he just completely annihilated him in the first round. I mean, it wasn't even close. And it just tells you how much more of a better fighter, better technical boxer than Lennox Lewis was than Riddick Bowe. And, he, I mean, you could say what you want about the first fight. He, took, he didn't take Galata seriously in the first fight, Riddick Bowe, but in the second one, he, he lost 25, 30 pounds. He was in tip-top shape, and he still got his ass kicked. I mean, he did a little bit better, but he, he still got fucked up. All right, these are my uh, dad's fights he wish he could have seen. I threw a couple in there. You know, if you guys heard me, I definitely would love to see Tyson and Tua. Um, there's a lot more. But, yeah, that'd be, there's a lot more we can think of. We just can't think of the top of our head, but that's uh, that's it.